Hi, I'm Nikki from Little Ones, and today I'm going to answer the question, why is my toddler taking ages to go to sleep at night? Toddlers are very interesting creatures, and they can be somewhat complicated. The main reason uh, we generally find that toddlers are taking forever to go to sleep at bedtime in the evening is because they've napped too long in the day, or their nap is too late in the day. And generally we'll be looking at by around two and a half to three years old, your toddler will have reduced and then dropped that daytime nap altogether. And children who are holding on to a long daytime sleep or, or any amount of daytime sleep really beyond three years old are going to really struggle to go to bed in the evening because they're just not tired. They have a lot of staying power and they are very, very strong willed. And if they're not completely tired and ready for sleep, there's going to be a million reasons that they need to get out of bed um, when you're trying to put them to bed in the evening. Now the tricky thing is your toddler is not going to necessarily naturally lose their nap or decrease their nap hours because um, why would you? So and toddlers are busy, busy little beings and you know a lot of them might be at daycare or preschool and they have really busy days, it's very exhausting being a toddler. So if it, if it was up to a toddler they would hold on to their day sleep as long as they could and then of course that's going to wreak havoc with their bedtime settling which is not ideal because they're going to be missing out on that more restorative sleep overnight. So it does come down to you having a bit more control over your toddler's napping and yes that is going to mean that by the time they start reaching a particular age and you notice that they're still napping for two hours but now actually they're mucking around for an hour at bedtime you sort of need to go, okay, maybe it's time that we start cutting that daytime sleep down. And you would do it gradually, and you would do it every, you know, couple of days. So it's not sort of all of a sudden you've gone from napping for two hours to napping for 15 minutes. And the idea is you're just gonna slowly cut that sleep down so that they'll start settling quicker at bedtime in the evening. And we're talking, when I'm talking about bedtime, I'm talking somewhere around seven o'clock. Um, so you certainly wouldn't want to be putting your toddler to bed much later than that, especially once you've started to reduce and then um, completely remove that nap. So that's their daytime naps. Now, um, toddlers are also relatively challenging when it comes to, uh, can be challenging when it comes to their bedtime behavior as well. And I'm sure you will realize that your toddler will literally do anything they can for attention and for reward. Um, and that doesn't always necessarily mean good attention. A lot of toddler behavior stems from getting any kind of response, positive or negative. So they very, very quickly learn that if they're doing something, um, even if it's yielding a negative response from you, it's still a response, it's still a reason to not go to bed, and so they're going to keep, keep doing that behavior. We, um, it, it's quite hard to sort of give you an exact answer for what, how to, fix this with your toddler's bedtime, it depends really on your child's age, um, whether they're napping or not and what their sleep environment's like, whether they're still in a crib, whether they've moved to a bed, um, and all of those sorts of factors can play into it as well as their diet. But we do in our toddler sleep program have a whole lot of different solutions in a section we call toddler tactics, which looks at how to deal with um, resisting bedtime or habitually getting up and how to deal with habit waking in the night or if they keep getting up out of bed and coming into your room or if they're waking early in the morning. Um, so once you've made sure that it's not something that's happening in their day that's impacting on their night, then we can start looking at what's causing that um, repetitive, disruptive behavior in the evening and work towards getting your toddler calmly into bed at a decent time. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for a lot more baby and toddler sleep videos.